Welcome to our lecture, Computational Finance, Applied Mathematical Finance. Um, let me first, uh, well, shortly review the aim of the lecture. Of course, the aim of the lecture is to teach you something. Yeah? So really, this is uh, the main aim. Yeah? And uh, what are we looking at? So we are looking at theory, modeling, and numerical methods, and implementation, and how the three or four things uh, link to each other. So um, we will actually really start with um, a more theoretical part, uh, looking at uh, interest rates and then later also more advanced interest rate models. So more advanced models from mathematical finance, complex interest rate models, and then also maybe hybrid models. And um, really to some extent, interest rate models are the thing that you should start with in mathematical finance, or they are, say, the basic model yeah, on top of which you could model other quantities. Uh, why is that? Because you know there's the concept of the numeraire, maybe you know it, yeah, the reference asset, and in an interest rate model, the numeraire will become stochastic. You can construct special cases of other models where you can go without this. Yeah. Um, but really interest rate models are very interesting from this point um, of view because you have a stochastic numeraire. Yeah, maybe you know that in Black Schultz model, the numeraire is usually chosen to be the money market account, which is just deterministic, makes the model much easier. And uh, this will introduce some complications, yeah, um, which are really interesting. So, this is um, really a nice uh, thing to study. Yeah? So interest rates are not a special field here. They are the foundation uh, of uh, the modeling. And uh, this is another aspect because I will also have a small excursion yeah, to models related to climate change impact research. Um, and in such model interest rates play a role. Yeah? So we can maybe study how interest rates enter into other models from other fields. And so we will also look here in our modeling section to models that come from this area, uh, the so-called integrated assessment models. I can also uh, give you just um, a very small introduction into this. So we will study a very simple one, but maybe you get the basic um, idea how uh, interest rate modeling could link here to these models. Then next part is that we will discuss numerical methods. Okay, so what's that? So um, we already had an intensive lecture on numerical methods. So here I will study certain specific problems uh, from the theory, for example, if we have studied models, we have the question how to calibrate the model. So there's the question how to calibrate a model, which is find the best parameters of a model. And this is then related to a numerical method. So for example, a root finder, yeah, to just find a solution of an equation or an optimizer, so to find the best fit uh, parameter set. Um, so you already see that uh, this links the theory to the numerical method. So we will not study numerical methods separately yeah, in, a, in a separate session. So sometimes a problem will come up yeah, from our modeling session, and then we will discuss the numerical method. Another example is the um, correlation structure of an interest rate model. So interest rate models are high dimensional, so much richer, much more complicated than, for example, a single stock model. And in this context, we can study, for example, the principal component analysis um, to perform a factor reduction. And then if we look at complex derivative, we can study the American Monte Carlo method, the valuation of Bermudan options is related to this. Uh, and in that context, can 
can have a look at linear regression. Okay, and as a third part, also not a separate part, always combined with this, we will also look at how to implement this stuff in the computer. So implementation is also important. And um, by looking at this, I like to teach you some design patterns. So uh, it's not a quick and dirty implementation, yeah, just to get the result uh, quickly. So we also ask ourselves, okay, what is a good design such that we can extend later our solution, yeah? that we can easily generalize it. And we will also study a little bit or use a little bit state-of-the-art tools. Yeah? So for example, here like Git, uh, Maven, and so on, uh, when we uh, implement these solutions. And uh, so you learn this um, you know, on the way uh, to creating an implementation. Um, we explore this. Uh, so the numerical methods in a computer, of course, this is our laboratory. So the nice thing is that the computer here is our laboratory. So we can study everything. Sometimes we learn something about the theory. Yeah? So this is nice. So um, understanding the numerics and then studying the numerical results gives you some deeper insight from the theory. And we will do that uh, by using this uh, Java library. So we will use here the Finmat lib, the library uh, that was developed also or discussed by in, in part uh, in this uh, previous course, yeah? numerical methods. Um, sometimes we will use some parts as a black box. So there are, for example, implementations for um, a pound in motion or an Euler scheme. So we can now just use that. Yeah? So we do not need to study very hard how that is, how that was implemented. And sometimes we will also develop uh, new parts or review the implementation. Okay, so that's my plan for the uh, lecture. Um, study theory, modeling, numerical methods, and the implementation and how the fields link to each other. And of course, uh, another aspect is um, that you also have, should have some fun, yeah? For example, some fun in coding and also some fun understanding. Um, how the theory actually uh, works yeah, by studying the computer experiments, which we do.